I want to thank you for joining us again for another episode of Sermon Highlights. Today we're here at the Shiloh Seventh-day Adventist Church and I'm here with our pastor, uh, Dr. Harold Thomas III. And I want to thank you, sir, for being here, for giving us the highlights, the main points of your message that you just preached. Praise the Lord, Elder. Uh, thank you for the invitation. I'm glad we're back. We started back again. Mm -hmm. The title of the message today was Resilient People, Resilient uh, Families or Relationships. So I introduced the, the sermon today talking about are you a carrot, egg, or coffee bean? Mm -hmm. A daughter was complaining to a mother about how hard life is and she didn't know how she was going to make it through. So the mother gave a, an experiment or an illustration to ask her daughter some questions to see how she was actually going to respond. So she put three pots of water on on the stove to boil and then she placed one pot with carrots, another pot with eggs, and another pot with uh, coffee beans. Well, as you know, at the end of 20 minutes, the mother uh, transferred the contents to a bowl to, for each product to have its own bowl. The carrots, as you know, went in strong, but came out mushy and soft. The second one was an egg. Uh, it came out uh, hard. The shell was still hard, but when you crack it, it, it the, the egg was still intact, but on the inside, the egg had become hard. And also the last one was the coffee bean, which um, allowed its flavor and its aroma to spread throughout the, uh, the water, change the content of the water, and also the smell in the room. And the illustration was sometimes in life, things can get very hard. Mm -hmm. So the mother explained to her daughter, you don't want to respond like the carrot because the carrot went in hard, but it became mushy. The second one, the eggshell stayed intact, but on the inside of the egg was hard. And so sometimes life can get hard and we become bitter and angry and unforgiving on the inside, even though we have an outer shell that looks the same. And the last one was the coffee bean, which actually created aroma, a pleasing aroma, and also the taste of the water changed because of the coffee. And so with our trials, we want to make sure that we don't become bitter nor mushy, but we create an atmosphere where we brighten up all through. the adversity allowed us, allows us to uh, create a pleasant experience and we can take from those experiences and bless all those around us. So I took that and wanted to look for a woman with, uh, with uh, resilience. So we went to Mark chapter 7, verses 24 through 30. This is the woman that comes to Jesus, uh, the woman from Tyre, that comes to Jesus and asks Jesus to heal her daughter that's possessed by a demon. So this woman comes to Jesus as she's considered a Gentile outside of the nation of Israel. And she demonstrates some resilience to us in her reply because she said, Jesus, even the dogs get the crumbs. And Jesus was just impressed. And he put her on spotlight to say, that because of that answer, your daughter is healed and the demons are gone. So this woman de demonstrated the first P was she had priorities. Her resilience, she had priority. She maintained resilience because she had priority. And the first priority was that was the deliverance of her child. And sometimes our prayers just go all over the place and we neglect to keep a first priority. That is our salvation. That is the salvation of our children, our spouses, and our loved ones. And that wherever Satan has a hold on them, we want Satan out of them. And so I want to encourage a parent, make that a priority in your prayer to pray for your children and that Satan, if Satan has operation in their lives or an operation in the lives of people you love, ask that Jesus will set them free. That's number one. Number two, she pressed her petitions. The second piece, she pressed her petitions. As I said earlier, Jesus' reply was testing her faith. And that's nothing unusual. Jesus has told us multiple times that in our prayer lives, we must have perseverance. Remember the story to pair about the neighbor who knocked on his other neighbor's house at midnight to ask for bread. Jesus was demonstrating because that neighbor said, I'm going to get out of my bed and give my neighbor this bread because he keeps knocking on my door and asking. Jesus said, we got to persevere. Then he told the illustration about the widow uh, before the judge. 
And the judge said, because this widow keeps petitioning me, I'm going to give her what she asked. And Jesus demonstrated this woman with the reply he gave that, hey, we must persevere. We must press our request. And she believed that God will. And the final P is proximity. God is not limited to time and space. Right there, while that mother was there, Jesus told her, your daughter is healed. Amen. Jesus did not have to go to the house. Jesus did not have to uh, touch her, talk to the girl, anything. He is able, he is God. God can do anything for anybody, anywhere, anytime. Trust in God's power. Trust to keep your, pro your prayers, have priority, press your prayers. Make those petitions known and don't limit God to time and space. Somebody can be somewhere else, your children can be in another place, but continue to pray for them and God will do great things. Boost up your resilience by trusting that God is more than able to take care of you. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for coming back here and sharing with us. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, man.